Hey everyone, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on um, CoverGirl's hair, how it's going. Um, having a few issues uh, with air bubbles. This is a different type of resin, so I'm trying to learn it, but it seems like it gets really thick fast. So I'm supposed to have six minutes of working time, but um, it's really more like two minutes. So that's barely enough time to stir and pour all of the um, pour all the molds. So it's been a little tricky, um, but I might have figured it out. I've got six of them made so far. I know that's not very many, but um, hopefully now that I kind of figured out one part of it, it might go a little quicker. Still not perfect, not as simple as I'd hoped. Um, here's a kind of a shot of what the what it's doing. So so I actually pour in and so it comes down like that. There's a funnel up here. And so these air bubbles are getting stuck right there. And uh, I'm try I've tried cutting vents on both sides but you'd think that the air bubbles would make it to the top it's just it's getting thick too fast um, so I am gonna keep on working on that so this one's junk but um, but these others came out pretty good and, and will work um, so I also might have to look at a different kind of resin um, flexible resin if if the SRC stuff isn't working good I may have to switch and, and find something else that stays thinner longer so I can get it in the pressure pot and get all the air bubbles out um, but I've been um, actually all most of these had air bubbles and I re-poured just to fill in the air bubble part I I got a pretty good recipe for the blonde hair, and so uh, I'm able to consistently get the color. So I was able to recreate it and re-pour to fill in those bubbles, and it actually turned out pretty good. So I'll keep doing that if I have to. I'm going to maybe call the company and figure out if there's a way I can, or something I can do to make it. Um, to where I don't have to deal with that. I might have to warm up the molds beforehand. Sometimes you have to do that, um, you know, to help with the air bubbles. So, um, haven't had an issue with air bubbles in a long time. Um, here and there I get little ones, but most of the time they're each, each casting is, is coming out, you know, pretty good. So anyway, that's one thing I'm dealing with, so I'm still working on that. Um, I'll, I'll get these cranked out as, as many as I can, as quickly as I can. Um, and then I'm going to start painting all the faces. So I've got most of the heads cast. Uh, I still need to do a bunch more Duke and Snake Eyes. Um, but everything else, I mean, is coming along pretty good. So I um, also wanted to show you guys this rip cord. Because you've seen, you've probably seen photos of it, but you, you may not understand what it's about. Um, so I think the original Ripcord is almost the perfect figure. He's, he was the f my favorite figure that I actually owned as a kid. And I never begged more for a toy than for Ripcord when I saw him in the store. And it had everything to do with his card back, which I think is the most beautiful card back in the G.I. Joe line. I think it's the best one, my, my personal favorite. Uh, Snow Job is up there. I do like Snake Eyes version 2. I love all the 82 um, figures as well, but Ripcord's my favorite uh, card back. So I always thought, you know, even as a kid, it's like, why doesn't he have that patch on his arm? You know, why doesn't, um, you know, why, why, why doesn't he have the little timer on his, on his parachute? You know, I, 
I I didn't think his colors matched right. I still thought he was a beautiful figure, and again, I love the figure. Pro one of the best head sculpts as well from vintage, uh, the Vintage Joe's. So there's nothing wrong with the figure. So that's not why I I made him, uh, or I made a, a custom. It's because I wanted to match that card back uh, closer, and and the cartoon. I also wanted to to match his head in the cartoon, um, you know, a little bit better. So so I gave him the patch. So you can see I screwed up on the hair there a little bit. So I gotta re I gotta repaint that, fix that. And I'll probably cast this head at some point um, to make it better, but. Um, but yeah, I got the patch on there, and what I did was I printed it out really small, cut it out, glued it on, and then I took a lacquer coat, a uh, gloss varnish, and, and, and put that over top, and, you know, it's on there good, it's not going to come off. Um, the other thing is I, I um, these l uh, lower... The calves, the lower legs, uh, for him, I believe those are from Recond, not Recondo. Um, oh, what's his name? Leatherneck. I think those are Leatherneck's uh, lower legs. The boots, I'm not sure. Those might be his as well. I can't remember if I cut those off of another guy and put those on. Um, but those are different. Those are not the Ripcord's uh, boots. Ripcord shoes were. I always thought they were really small. You know, he had this body that kind of got bigger, and um, but his little he had little feet, <laughs> so he never really stood real well, and he had a lot of bolt to him. He was always falling down for me, so I put on some bigger boots for him, um, and I, I yeah, I just repainted the camouflage. Um, the green is a, obviously it's a different green. Um, and it was it was tough trying to match and get something I felt like matched the card back, because um, obviously he's with the explosion you always see the bright, you know every every color on the card back is brighter, you know it's a different color than he actually is because of that light shining on him, so it looks kind of yellow in the picture, but so I added a little yellow to it. Um, just change the tint, and then um, of course the head. That's a that's Spearhead's head, and I took some epoxy sculpt and added hair, um, and just kind of shaped it. I reshaped his face a little bit too, give him a little different look, a little def definition and stuff. Um, so so that you couldn't. I mean, you can tell it's Spearhead, but it's definitely different um so oh I, I these the pads on his or the little pouches on his legs i made those smaller um the arms aren't quite as bulbous uh, right around the forearm uh made his his uh torso a little thinner as well he's not as uh pudgy and <laughs> kind of kind of thick <laughs> so yeah, just kind of did a lot of little things to him. Um, again, love the original figure. <laughs> this is just this is just kind of matching the card too, and then the card back. Um, and so I'm still working on his gear. I've taken his parachute um, and um, work. I'm going to work on adding that timer on there. Uh, the I'm covering up the the hole there, because in the picture it doesn't, his mask doesn't connect there, it connects up here. So I'm making a new area for this mask to hook into. Um, that's about, I think that's all I'm doing to this, to the parachute here. So I just need to finish that up. His helmet, this is barbecue, or not barbecue, a uh, blowtorch helmet from the 25th anniversary. Just bought this by itself. And I like the flexibility of it, and it, it hugs his head pretty good. So I'm going to um, finish shaping this. I'm going to make it more round, 
and, um, on the side here. Probably just add a little epoxy sculpt, and then I'm going to cast it. I'm going to cast it in this flexible material. Um, if it, if not the one I'm using on the hair, then a different one, and um, and that way, you know, it'll slide on and adjust to the shape of his head. And I'll cast it in a black or a, like a, a grayish, brownish black, you know, just a dark color. Um, and then I'm I'm going to use also the the blowtorch uh, mask as well. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to do this. I cut a, I cut the eye uh, the the goggles off, and um, I'm going to figure out. I may attach like a band here that can slide over the head or the helmet and um, you know just make it a little different um, I'm, I'm working on that and it'll be of course in the flexible material as well and then I have some goggles and this comes from a later Joe as well there's clear goggles that I will attach so you can see his eyes and um, and then I'll paint the out outline of those um, the frames of them like a black and uh, and yeah so so I still have a lot to do to them I've picked them up put them down several times and it's one of those where um, I get sidetracked to do other projects that I get interested in um, you know and or something you know for the business. This is just more for me, um, but you know, I may if these heads. If if you guys wanted the heads at some point, I can maybe make a bunch of these for Ripcord. But I love his original head, and you guys probably do too. So um, anyway, that's it. And when I'm done with them, I might. This is an open card back. I may slide them in here, um, and and display them and leave it open so I can pull them out if I need to but uh, just display them like that and um, hang them up on my wall or something. Alright, anyway, just wanted to let you guys know about that and how uh, CoverGirl's going, but I will give, keep you guys informed on the process. Um, hopefully, like I said, these hairs start, you know, cranking out and I can do them all. I can do a bunch of them fast. Uh, the, all the other hair is going great. It's just this flexible material is just really rough and it's it's a lot of hair. So, all right. Well, we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.